Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, let me move this back a little bit. <laughs> I can never get this right from the get-go, you know? There we go. Anyway, hey, how you doing today, all right? Thursday, thirsty Thursday, and I'm on my second cup of caffeine. So, uh, if you're joining me, let's put it down. Cheers. Ugh, it's March the 4th, Thursday. Thirsty Thursday, 2021. And, uh, it's cloudy outside over here in, uh, Tower City, Pennsylvania. Temperature is about, uh, 39 degrees. It's supposed to go up to, like, 41-ish, give or take. And it's going to be cloudy most of the day today. So, eh, at least we're not having any snow or rain, you know. That's the upside. My guy uh, got in touch with me yesterday. He sent me a text. <laughs> the guy that uh, cuts my uh, backyard for me. <laughs> Joking around, he said. His name's Jim. He said, yeah, hey, I'll be over tomorrow to do your lawn. I said, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll look for you then, Jim. <laughs> of course, he was only kidding, you know. But uh, I was looking at the extended weather forecast. For, uh, over here in Tower City next week Wednesday and Thursday next week all right March the 10th and March the 11th over here in Tower City now I want to do a little bit more research and check out uh, uh, Cape May <laughs> and a little area called Sea Isle City New Jersey but anyway next week in Tower City on March the 10th Supposedly, and this is extended, you know, so, but it's nice to see those numbers. 63 for a high on March the 10th. On March the 11th, 62 for a high and sunny. Both days are supposed to be sunny. And again, that's a long range forecast, but it's nice to see those numbers slowly creeping up, you know. Uh, a buddy of mine got in touch with me uh, uh, this morning, you know. We send good mornings out to a bunch of people and all that. Oh, I shouldn't say we, I. And uh, he got back to me and uh, basically said, Hey, good morning. Uh, it's warm over here, warm and sunny over here in Sea Isle City. And I I got back to him, you know, I, I won't mention his name, but he knows who I'm talking about. But I said, Hey, since you uh, uh, go down there quite often, he doesn't live far from uh, sea Isle City, you know, he's a, a Philly boy, I believe, or a, around Philly, and he, he uh, I guess he's got a place down there in Sea Isle, I said, do me a favor, uh, give me some recommendations on a nice, nice little hotel, motel, holiday inn, <laughs> down in Sea Isle, because, uh, you know, I, I want to get down there to uh, Cape May, uh, again, uh, you know, uh, uh, the campground never called me back, which, you know, irritates me. I was supposed to go there yesterday. I had a couple people that were interested in, in looking at my place because it's for sale, as you know. But uh, they didn't get back to me. Now, you know, I know it's the off-season, but there's usually somebody there at the campground or the phone number is at least transferred to a, a number of, Somebody that might be on call or whatever and get back to me. This is King Nummy. Thousand Trails Campground. You know, a part of. And, uh, you know, I called them a few days back. Gave them adequate time to get back to me. And I, I haven't heard nothing yet. You know. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm getting off course here. Uh, I'd like to go down there. And uh, since King Nummy does, doesn't open until uh, April... I, and I'm not sure exactly what date. Might be April 1st, a April 15th, I don't know. But they're open until October. And uh, I want to go down there, you know, check my place out uh, and show it to people if they want to see it. And I figure since I'm down there, I, I'm like two and a half hours away, two hours away anyway. And I, I'll get a, a hotel room, uh, maybe down there in Sea Isle City. I haven't... Uh, I had the pleasure of staying down down there yet. I've stayed over there in Wildwood Crest. 
of course, Ocean City, New Jersey, uh, <laughs> at, at the famous Purple Pussycat, which is no longer around, but that was many, many years ago. But uh, uh, maybe I'll uh, look into a place in Seattle City. And if any of you that are watching this video know of any uh, reasonable price, because I'm only going to... Uh, you know, I'm going to sleep there. I, I don't need a, all the glam, you know. <laughs> so uh, if you have any ideas or thoughts on that, get back to me. Send me a private message in Messenger. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, as I said, today is March the 4th, and I got a birthday, but I'm getting parched. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting into my uh, spring-summer garb here, you know. March the 4th, birthday today is uh, Chaz, Bo Chaz Bono's birthday, if you uh, know or remember Chaz Bono, uh, his mom and dad, okay, that's Sonny and Cher. Well, Chaz is uh, 52 years young today. Um, he's a musician, he's an actor, and a writer, and a gay rights activist. That's what it says. Uh, he was born in uh, Los Angeles, California, and his net worth is approximately $800,000. So, hey, Chaz, hope you're uh, having a good day today. Happy birthday to you. Another birthday today is uh, Patricia Heaton, if you remember Patricia Heaton. She's uh, 63 years young today. Uh, she's an actress and a producer. Uh, you know, she was on, uh, she was the wife of, you know, on the sitcom, Everybody Loves Raymond. You know, uh, I still watch the the reruns when they come up. You know, I get a kick out of that show, you know, even to this day. But uh, her net worth is about $40 million. And like I said, she's 63 years young today. Happy birthday, Patricia, or Patty, or whatever you go by, Pat. Um, I did say $40 million, right, net worth. Um, after Everybody Loves Raymond, you know, did its course, uh, Patricia went on to uh, do another sitcom, which I didn't know, and I, I never seen it. I'm going to have to see if I can uh, catch the reruns. But it was only one season long. It was called Carol's Second Act. Uh, and it was only one season. It was from uh, September 2019 until uh, July 2020. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know anything about Carol's Second Act. You know, um, I think I'll try to pull it up and look at it. Boy, there's something I could say about Carol's second act, but I, I won't go there, okay? <laughs> uh, today is National uh, Grammar Day, <laughs> you know, for uh, all of us people and the young people and the college people. We're supposed to, uh, you know, uh, just focus on our grammar, okay? Because I know my grammar is worse than people from other countries, you know? It's just worse than a lot of them, you know? <laughs> so anyway, you know, earmark that, you know, try to brush up on your grammar, you know, I'm not the best, believe me, you know. <laughs> so we'll do a three-day weather forecast today uh, in honor of Patricia Heaton over there in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, since that's where she was born. Thursday in Cleveland, 34 for a high, 25 for a low. And cloudy. Let me turn that up a little bit. I got my uh, background music, uh, Caribbean style in, 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 instrumentals going on right now. You know, I figure if I'm going to wear the shirt, that's the kind of music I need right now. Something similar to, uh, I looked up uh, beach instrumentals, but they only had them one by one, like three minutes long, and then, you know, then there would be a commercial, and then another one, I thought, nah, 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 <laughs> So, this came up, uh, Caribbean 
uh, Beach Instrumental on YouTube, and it's like, uh, I guess about an hour, maybe two hours long. You know, it's good music to put in the background of what I'm doing here. All right, enough of that. Did I go through all Cleveland? Uh, Thursday in Cleveland, 34 for a high, 25 for a low, cloudy. Friday in Cleveland, 36 for a high, 27 for a low, sunny. Saturday in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio, 32 for a high, 26 for a low, and partly cloudy. So there's your three-day weather forecast for beautiful Cleveland, Ohio, in case you're doing a road trip going up that way to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or, you know, just road tripping, taking your motorhome, your camper, your RV, you know, your travel trailer, uh, your fifth wheeler, whatever, okay? Now it's too loud. Here we go. Let me turn that down a little bit. There, we'll go with that. Now we're going to do a uh, five-day weather forecast for Sea Isle City, New Jersey. You know, if it would have been nice, I think I, I, I think I would have made a trip down there, even though I couldn't get into my campground. Uh, I'm just itching to, you know, get out there. Cabin fever, if you guys know what I mean. So in Sea Isle City, New Jersey, today... 49 for a high, not bad. 25 for a low and sunny. My buddy said it was warm and sunny. You call uh, 49 warm? Well, I guess it's a little warmer than maybe what it would have been yesterday. Friday in Sea Isle. 41 for a high. 28 for a low and sunny again. Saturday in Sea Isle City, New Jersey. 40 for a high. 27 for a low and partly cloudy. Sunday in Seattle City, 39 for a high, 25 for a low, partly cloudy again. And Monday in Seattle City, New Jersey, 43 for a high, 32 for a low, and sunny. So that's it, folks. Um, what can I tell you? I don't have much going on today at all. You know, uh, I was, when I got up this morning and, you know, I took, Sir Prince out, and uh, we had our little walk. Um, I was trying to figure out what I'm going to have for uh, supper tonight. Hold on for one moment. I got some uh, frozen flounders in my freezer. I think I'll pull those out, and I'll, I'll probably batter them up real nice. And they're just real thin flounders. They're the ones that you buy... All, all in a bag, you know, and I mean, they're so thin, they almost only have one side to the filet, if you know what I mean, <laughs> but I'll probably cook up uh, the whole batch, and I, I can probably eat half of the filets that are in this package, okay, I think it cost me like uh, maybe $5, $4.50 for this package of frozen flounders. I've had them before. They're not bad, but they're, I mean, they're super thin, you know? So anyway, I'll, I'll probably batter them up real nice with some flour or, uh, I don't know, uh, some uh, Italian breadcrumbs or something. And I do have some lemon juice here. Uh, and then I'll air fry my French fries, have a small Coca-Cola, and that'll be my supper for this evening. Now, for lunch, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, you know. I know I, I, I do have some uh, uh, breaded uh, chicken breasts that, uh, excuse me, I could cook up for lunch. We'll see. But that's it, folks. Um, let me know what's going on in your neck of the woods. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, conversation with you. It gave you some time to just chill out. Enjoy your coffee and listen to this guy virtually talk about nothing of any real importance. That's what I do. I just get out there and talk to people that are maybe like me, just that are living all by myself. <laughs> you know, that just want to 
have a conversation with somebody that's in the screen. You know, you could be answering questions to me or asking me questions as I'm talking. You know, I've been doing this for uh, uh, three years anyway. So if there's ever a day that you're really, really, really bored, <laughs> I mean really bored, <laughs> you can go into all my old videos from day one and just, you know, uh, watch those if you have nothing better to do, you know. <laughs> All right, if you enjoyed my video, do me a favor, hit that like button, and uh, share it with your friends and family. Let them know that this old guy makes these videos most of the time, Monday through Friday. I try to get them out in the morning, but that doesn't happen, you know. But uh, they're out there for whenever you're. it's convenient for you to just to sit back, chill, and listen to the old guy babble. Even if you got to do it in your Cadillac Escalade, you know, you got to sit there and just watch your video and just, you know, listen to the guy talk about nothing. No, I'm not getting paid by Cadillac Escalade, you know. A friend of mine has one. Yeah. That person's leading the good life. Me, I got a Subaru. No, I'm not saying the Subaru is bad. I enjoy my Subaru. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, enough of that babbling. You guys have a good day today. Uh, let me know what's going on in your neck of the woods. Tomorrow is Friday, and I'm going to go up there to Crossroads. I'll get my uh, two hot sausage sandwiches, my small Coca-Cola, and then I'll go right across the aisleway and get some world-famous Troutman French fries. Let me know what you're doing for the weekend. Right now, I have no serious plans going on yet, but that can uh, change like this. I love all you guys. Take care of one another. As I said, hit that like button if you like my video. Share it with your friends and family, and I'll take any comments, positive or negative. Send them my way. RJ and Chrissy, good morning to you, or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. I hope my grandson is coming along quite well. Let me know, uh, you know, how things are progressing here. How's the baby bump going, Chrissy? <laughs> Raymond, Roy, Mary, Bucko, Hope, Lizzie, Brian. Good morning to you guys, or good afternoon, whatever it is. Mary, are you moved into your new place yet? You know, let me know how things are going. Raymond, how's it going? Lloyd, how you doing? Lucille, how's your eye? Better? I hope. Who else we got out there? Uh, Debbie from Exton. Good morning to you or good afternoon, whatever. Deb over there in Debford, New Jersey. And family, Jeff, good morning to you guys. Hopefully I'll be seeing you down there at King Nummy shortly, you know. And uh, anybody else, uh, my King Nummy friends, can't wait to see you guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to all of you later on. Let's put it down one more time. Cheryl, good morning. Tina, good morning. Leo, good morning. Uh, Kaylee, how you doing? Nicholas, Noah, uh, your birthday's coming up. I didn't forget. Happy birthday to you fine young gentlemen. Happy early birthday, I know. Here we go. Cheers. That's it. If I forgot anybody, I'm not slighting anybody. Lloyd, how you doing? On three, I'm going to punch you out. Have a great day today. Keep on smiling. And don't forget to smell the coffee. Cheers. Here we go. One, two, three. Peace. Come on. Peace.